What? Oh my god. There has been a murder. There has been a murder in Thimbleweed Park. Thimbleweed Park. Thimbleweed Park is a point-and-click adventure game by former LucasArts developers Ron Gilbert, Gary Winnick, and David Fox. If you're not aware of LucasArts, they have made classic point-and-click adventure games such as The Secret of Monkey Island and Maniac Mansion Day of the Tentacle. Thimbleweed Park starts with a mysterious murder. You gain control of two FBI agents who are there to find out who the killer is. As the agents are learning about the murder, they start learning more about the town and its secrets. What I liked about Thimbleweed Park is how much the game felt like a classic point-and-click adventure games I grew up with. There are a lot of puzzle solving involved where you obtain an item and you would have to either combine it with another item, use it, or give it to someone to unlock a path to continue or just get another item to figure out what to do with it. There is a lot of that going on and if you're anything like me, you'll get lost a lot. Luckily though, the game starts off asking which mode you would like to play, either casual or hard. I happen to choose casual for easier puzzles. In hard mode, you'll get longer and harder puzzle solving. If you're like me and get lost very easily, even in casual mode, there is a helpful automated hotline that you can call in-game. That automated system will give you helpful hints to progress in the story. That hint hotline starts off with small hints, but it gives you the option to ask for more hints. As you keep clicking for more hints, it'll pretty much tell you what you need to do next, so beware. When it comes to things I disliked, the first thing that comes to mind are the controls. This is a point and click game, so if you're playing on the computer, you're in the clear because you have a mouse that has more of a precise precision when selecting items and commands. For consoles, however, it's a bit different. Luckily for me, I was playing on the Nintendo Switch and had the ability to use the touchscreen making the selection a lot easier. The other thing I disliked is more of a nitpick. Thimbleweed Park gives you multiple characters to play and switch around with. When you first interact with an NPC with one character and come back with a different character, that same NPC will respond like he's talked to you already. In the end, Thimbleweed Park was a delightful game that brought an interesting story and unique characters that you play as. It makes me want to play more of the point-and-click genre, especially from Terrible Toy Box. If you've played the likes of the classic point-and-click adventure games from LucasArts or Double Fine, this game is right up your alley. I do recommend checking out Thimbleweed Park and it does get my sticker of approval. What's your favorite point-and-click adventure game? Let me know with the comments. If you like this video, click that like button. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, game on.